The Strange Life of Godzilla. Hey, King Caesar. Man, why'd you show up? I thought you hated this guy. Yeah, but can't resist a good story. Better be good, because this guy sucks. Oh, man. Hey, dude, you know that stupid cart thing that I had to do? Yeah. But apparently I didn't have enough evidence, so I couldn't even claim it. This system sucks. I mean, I said it happened. That's enough evidence, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just sit down and listen to the story. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, son of boys. It was a long, long, long time ago. Back at the time that none of us existed, the great Gojira claimed his Gojira was the king of the monsters. But like all, like all, I say, like all great monsters, there is an enemy that defies them. In this case, Giganto. An even taller and bigger monster than Godzilla, but with similar powers. And it was a great battle of ferocity and epicness. Not just boring things of them bashing things together and pumping each other. Yeah, it totally wasn't like that. There's a bunch of fire and crap. Constantly shooting fire. All the time. Anyway, they continued in their battle. And Godzilla ultimately claimed the victory. And came victorious. But of course, that wasn't the end of Giganto. They continued the battle, neither one able to kill each other. So Godzilla had to make the ultimate sacrifice and risk his life to sh shove. Giganto into a volcano. And there, there in that volcano, he lied for the rest of his life. No one, no one knows whether he died in that volcano or he remains in a cold slumber. Ha! You suck! At telling stories. You said cold slumber, you idiot. It's hot slumber because it's in a volcano. Will you shut up? I'm trying to tell a story here. Man, did I miss anything? Yeah, his awful storytelling about old ancient creatures throwing each other under the volcano and having a cold slumber. Alright. Everybody get back! Get back! I'll take care of the monster! What are you talking about? That metal thing! No, that's our friend Mechagodzilla. Yeah, I'm an ally. What? No! Mechagodzilla is a terrorist! No, he's not. He's actually one of our best friends. I'm a scientist. But, he used to be... Evil and attack other monsters. Yeah, well, uh, he kind of switched sides because he didn't like fighting with them anymore. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. But that does lead into a good story. You may have been wondering how I knew Angiris and his family so well. That's because I knew his dad. His, or in fact, his, uh, great-grandpa more likely and one day his great-grandpa was in a ferocious battle with Mechagodzilla they battled and battled and tried to battle to the death with raging fingers controlling them from their tails wait what I <laughs> that was a joke <laughs> no not really but no they were fighting and endlessly they fought but Mechagodzilla kept overcoming Angiris or Angus's grandpa. Get the story right, man. Anyways, he kept fighting, but Angus just kept losing. Angus's grandpa, at least. And they kept fighting and kept fighting 
until I came into the picture. Yes, I. Now you're the hero? This sounds like bull crap. You're full of baloney. You can't be a hero. You're just a sorry piece of crap. Matter of fact, I was actually quite in shape back then. I had actually quite a manly look to me. I was thin, muscly. I was kind of like a pro athlete. But anyways, I saved Angus's grandpa. There, I got it right. And uh, then I fought Mechagodzilla. And I killed that son of a And he was never seen again. Well, But I'm Mechagodzilla. Damn, dude, you're old. <sighs> yeah, but... Beside the point, I didn't die. I remember ending that story very differently. As a matter of fact, I got back up after I'm frantically ripping off parts of my metal body and everything. But anyways, I kept fighting back, and he was... He had unbelievably strong power. And, um... Well, in the end, we both ended up hurting each other to the point where we both had to flee. And Angiris' grandpa just stayed there and waited for us to return, and we never did. He waited so long, as a matter of fact, he died. <coughs> I know why my parents said that my great-grandpa had a f tragic death. Yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, about 27 years later, I decided that I didn't want to be a bad guy anymore. I like being good, and I wanted to help people and not kill people. And, uh, I'm glad I didn't kill anybody that day. Well, technically, your grandpa died because of me. Because of the fight and everything, but sorry about that. I barely knew him. As a matter of fact, I wasn't even around when he was around. So you're good. Yes! killed you. I very, very much killed you. Oh, that makes absolutely no sense. Well, I'm gonna go continue working on my science projects. You guys just keep telling your, or him at least, keep telling your bullcrap stories. And I wonder what he's up to in there. Probably making some revolutionary like, throwing axe so I can throw it at Gojira's face. They already have one of those. It's called the Tomahawk. Oh. Shut up. And did you just say Gojira? His name's Gojira? I thought his dad's name was Gojira. His dad? Wait, you didn't tell us that he was your dad. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Gojira's my dad. And, uh, he fought against Giganto. And, well, uh, yeah. They fought, and I'm technically Gojira Jr., but I took the name for myself, because he obviously was never around to claim the name among us, so come on now. Very demanding. You know what? I'm tired of this. I'm gonna go dig a hole. Well, uh, that's enough for tonight. Thank you guys for listening. I'll catch you guys some other time. Alright, nice, nice story, John. Thank you, Grandpa!